afternoon. You're watching the headlines with me. I'm Dipavli Hazra. Mobile internet services have been restored in Kargil after 145 days of restrictions in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Services were snapped following the center's decision to scrap Article 370 and bifurcate the state into two union territories. Services in Kargil were restored after complete normalcy reportedly returned to the region. However, mobile internet remains suspended in the Kashmir Valley. Uttar Pradesh police is bracing for a fresh round of protests over the citizenship law. As a precautionary measure, internet has been suspended in 12 districts of the state and cops are monitoring the situation with drones. Police fear further protests may erupt after the Friday prayers today. At least 21 people have been killed in the anti-CAA protest violence so far in the state. UPDGP OP Singh has set up an SIT inquiry into the violence witnessed last week. Speaking at the inauguration of a three-day national tribal dance festival organized by the Chhattisgarh government, Rahul Gandhi said that the country could not progress if brothers are made to fight brothers. He also asserted that the economy cannot be run without taking everyone along. He alleged the government puts money in the hands of 10 to 15 people. Gandhi's comments came in the backdrop of nationwide anti-NRC and CAA agitations. A Norwegian tourist has been asked to leave India after participating in anti-CAA protests on December the 23rd. The matter came to light via social media and the foreigner's regional registration office under the Home Ministry found she was violating visa norms by protesting in India. Similarly, earlier, a German student was directed to leave India for participating in anti-CAA protests as that allegedly violated his visa norms. TV actor Kushal Punjabi was found dead at his home in Mumbai's Pali Hill. The 37-year-old actor was found hanging and cops reportedly found a suicide note. Fellow TV star Karamveer Bohra expressed shock at the news. Others also joined in in expressing their grief. His colleagues said that it was unbelievable that a man with such zest for life would take such a drastic step. Banned Pakistani spinner Danish Kaneria has sought help from Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, writing to him that life is not in good shape. Kaneria was found guilty of spot fixing and the cricketer says he approached many individuals in Pakistan to resolve his issues, but he was allegedly discriminated against. In fact, Shoaib Akhtar too backed Kaneria and said his teammates mistreated the cr cricketer as he was Hindu. Indian Air Force's MiG-27 gets decommissioned today. The ace attacker served the IAF for over three decades and earned its glory during the Kargil War when it delivered rockets and bombs with accuracy over enemy positions. The fighter jet receives its farewell from the Jodhpur airbase. A plane with 95 passengers and five crew members on board crashed near the city of Almaty in Kazakhstan. The Kazakh carrier Beck Air Flight was heading for the capital Nur Sultan when it lost altitude and broke through a concrete fence before hitting a two-storey building. The Aviation Committee has suspended all Fokker 100 aircraft pending an inquiry. Delhi recorded the season's coldest day on Friday with temperatures dropping to 4.2 degrees Celsius. The capital is also likely to record its longest coldest spell in December since 1997. This December could also be the second coldest in 118 years in Delhi if the average maximum temperature meets the Met Department's estimation. The IMD expects the average of the entire month to come to 19.15 degrees. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.